Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. We're trespassing again! Hello, everybody! My name is Mayhem! I'm trespassing. I'm Trespasser. And today, we're back with another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And we are Tress... Passing. <laughs> All tres passing. All tres of us are passing. <laughs> now let's kill these dogs. Yay! I gave literally everybody vacuum cut except for me. <laughs> it's fine. Wait. If, oh. Oh. Yo. Oh. I, I have full... Almost full everything. We don't vacuum know. cut. Boom. Oh my boom, god. Boom. 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 And then he does it too. <laughs> Let's go. It's also like one of their only actual attacking moves. <laughs> so that's gonna, actually really good. So they're going to spam that shit. <laughs> Ow. No. Same dart. No, your physical. Yeah! Oh, that's perfect. Kill the oh. boss. I think everyone's a one shot now. Yeah. Back and cut. Yeah! Boom. Yeah! Boom. Yeah! Boom. Yeah! Boom. Boom. Tauros MVP! Boom! Boom. It, it's Tauros and Magnemite! They both did it! <laughs> oh, well, no. Magnemite, Magnemite sold it at the last second. <laughs> you there? Enough! Take this! Bye. Holy shit! It's the... We'll take it from here. It's the same thing that we saw last time! Cha -ha. Yeah, Cha-ha! Ha, ha Are you sure about that? Cha-ha-ha. -ha. <laughs> All his lines are Of course I am. <laughs> this was the deal, remember? Wait, hold on. We already did it. <laughs> Say it again. New episode. <laughs> we agree to help, but you, we must be the ones to finish the job. We prefer to finish the job below. That's why we have a Magnemite and a Taurus now. <laughs> As you wish. Goofy ass motherfucker. But if you fail, you will pay the price for your arrogance. This is our territory that you're defending. I'm not going to forget. I'll allow you some time. I expect to be gone by our return. Guys, we gotta go train. Autobots! Roll a joint! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Autobots. Ta. <laughs> See, Jetsu? I told you they would show up eventually. The team's going can't help themselves. <laughs> I told you, Jinzu. Jinzu, we told you. It's time that we teach these bad Pokemon a lesson. Oh, I can't believe you were right. Oh my god. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> just brown, <laughs> shoot, brown shooting off behind him. Listen to yourself, mayhem. Surely, you two were aware of the dangers of airplanes before coming here, but yet here you are. Why is that? Because we want to kill you. Did you totally read that note and come only here and only come here in such an honorable fight with us? Yeah. Or is there something more? Yeah. Or well, am I going to change my voice a third time? Do you feel that you, good Pokemon, need to bring justice to us bad Pokemon? I mean, you just defined yourself as bad, so yeah. Is that what good Pokemon do? Uh. Yeah. Ma'am, it's actually you that cannot help yourself. Of course we knew that you wouldn't come to airplanes. Because you would never pass up the opportunity to hurt bad Pokemon. If you said meet us outside, we would have done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a freaking psycho, you know that. <laughs> Zuma, stay back. Uh, that's a big top coming from you. You've tried to mess with us multiple times for no good reason. Even now, you scheme to convince Manetric and the Electric to attack us before we ever show yourselves. That's where you're wrong. When you came to Amp Plains, we did not realize that Minatric claimed this area. It should have hampered our plans. Luckily, we overheard the tribe talking about a certain dream that they all shared last night. In fact, it was the same dream that the three of us had as well. Because of that dream, Minatric already planned to hunt down any Chimcha that appeared in Amp Plains. Well, I identify as a Torchic. <laughs> that many Pokemon having the same dream can't be a coincidence. We just offered our assistance. And we shat in the pits. All that I've been hearing about recently is dreams, dream this, dream that, dream on, dream on, dream on. What is this dream even about? <laughs> I need to find the video of this one New York guy being like, well, yeah, well, you can put my balls in a fettuccine sandwich, like some crazy sandwich, <laughs> and take it to your face. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. No. So is that what Skuntank said? 
Oh, you don't know. The chaos emeralds? Well, you can take my balls. <laughs> this is shame. The balls that are on my face. <laughs> <laughs> you could take my skin balls. Maybe we'll tell you after you take my balls in a fettuccine with tomato, bacon, and lettuce sandwich. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I may have underestimated you in Apple Woods, but this time is different. This time, it's personal. <laughs> Tauros and Magnemite are just fucking ready. Yeah. Magnemite's got... chilling, and Tauros is, like, ready to run at his, uh, They're his just like, they're just they like, have oh. vacuum cut! <laughs> oh! Oh! Zubat, coughing. You tired, skunk tank? Well, you're gonna be napping in the fish! <laughs> napping in the fish. Da -da. Da -da. Oh, look, it's vacuum cut! <laughs> <laughs> vacuum cut! <laughs> <laughs> Vacuum gun! <laughs> He's gonna go for me! Yeah! Oh, poor Zubat. <laughs> no! Fork, I missed. Yarg. Yarg! Vacuum flavor! No! Fuck it. My vacuum gun! Yeah, Zubat's dead! Thank you, Taros. That was easy. <laughs> oh, God! Flamethrower. Three flamethrowers! Yay! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, okay, I'm fine. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for the martyrdom. <laughs> 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 Who knew he was a martyr? Okay. I no, out, martyrdom! It's a thing it, with me. It's a thing in Call of Duty. Shaw. Coughing! We need to do it now! Set up the explosive, okay. <sighs> <sighs> Quiet farts. <laughs> no, just, just the fact that, like, coughing, we need to gaze him so we can get away! And Zubat's just like, help, I was just stomped to death by the Tauros! <laughs> we can't do it again. Oh no, Sky Tank's gonna have death! Coughing! I changed my mind. Hold back on the gas. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. You lost, Gun Tank! Have you learned your lesson yet? Chaw! Yes, Mayhem. You and Jinsu have won. We clearly can't match you two in com uh, you four in combat. But this changes nothing. Four. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Eventually, your actions will catch up to you. Fuck you! Coughing, Zube, and I all had the same dream. Magnetric as well. I don't know how that's possible, but it surely means that the others have had the same dream as well. We might not be trusted source of information, but in this situation, it doesn't matter. Uh, see, so rhymed just a little bit. Information, situation. End of doom. <laughs> the the information world, about the situation. The world already <laughs> knows your secret. Draconification. Se secret? Oh, that Mirac caught your attention. I, I, I can do something with this. Yes, that dream revealed something to all of us. Dreams are always a bit fuzzy. But there was one part of the last night's dream that everyone remembered. We all saw a Pokemon that could only be Mayhem, and they said, "Ra ra ra." I will be the one to disrupt time. I didn't say that. What? I never said that. What does that even mean? Is that even a real secret? There's something. It's a secret. Is that really what Magnetrix saw? How did multiple Pokemon see this? What? How could, how could this be possible? What? I don't know what disrupt time means, but it sure sounds bad. Oh, the time years. Mage Manetric thought so too. That certainly doesn't sound like something that a good Pokemon would do. Let's get out of here. Doink, Bye. Doink, doink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have a nice life. And my friends are dead. Fuck. I got it. Good thing I got these mm, health potions. I just have to chew up these herbs and spit it back in their mouth. Get away from me! <laughs> how long can you make it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, how loud that ass fart? <laughs> but the thing I don't get, how did all of them have the same dream? Uh, that one? You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one Pokemon that knows the eff that that we know of could affect dreams in that kind of scale. Huh? I thought that you didn't think that Darkrai was worth worrying about. 
Well, I can't deny it any longer. I'm small. <laughs> I will not deny it any longer. I am small. I cannot deny it any longer. We're in trouble. What if Skunk Tank was just lying when he said all of that? That's definitely a possibility. A possibility. A possibility. No. Oh. Skunk Tank's explanation makes too much sense. I do want to destroy time. <laughs> I remember now. Manetric mentioned to us before we fought, the whole tribe had a dream about me. Why else would they work with a group like Team Skull? There's the guild. Even the guild members had nightmares when we first returned from the expedition. Last night, those same guild members had nightmares again. All of them. And at the same time, too. Same dream. If Skuntank was telling the truth, then in that dream you said, I will be the one to disrupt time. So... If everyone had the same dream, and the dream was manipulated by Darkrai, what does it mean? It means I'm fucked. I don't know. Do you think that maybe that dream is some kind of omen? Or something? Amen? <laughs> A look into the future? No, omen. I mean, it sounds crazy, but everything about the situation is crazy. Crazy? No, it's not crazy. amen. It's oh, man. Oh, call me Woody. Wild Woody! <laughs> How can I ever be? <laughs> <laughs> How can time ever be disrupted? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> time just exists. They depend on all of it. All of us. The phrase is just nonsense. Look at him and tell me there's a god. <laughs> man, dark cry at his own image. <laughs> but why did Dark Cry choose it? Why am I the one saying the f that phrase in the dream? It's your it's your catchphrase, man. I will disrupt <laughs> time. <laughs> Forty minutes have passed. <laughs> that part of it that part of it isn't good for us. If Minitrix reaction is in, in is any indicator, then other Pokemon must think that the dream is an omen, like you said. Who knows how many more Pokemon who want to fire us out of nowhere? <laughs> what do we have to do with this? Why us? What do we do to deserve this? Why me? But what did I do to deserve people? this? Boo! <laughs> 3D Squelton hates this! <laughs> well, I was gonna say, it's just this the, the, the person who goes, What did I do to deserve this? What specifically? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know for sure if that's the case. We know about two different sets of nightmares since the expedition. Were both, were both of those dreams the same? Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe, Maybe the next dream, assuming that there is one, will be different. Besides, a lot of Pokemon haven't even had that dream. What about us? And Meryl, and Azuro, too. Skuntank was wrong about that. In fact, those that have had the dream are probably a small minority. So we can outvote them. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Meryl and Azuro! Hi, Mayhem! Oh, and Jinsu, too! It's nice to see you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, did you do how many nightmares last night? Nope, we didn't have any nightmares. Didn't you two ask us that before? <laughs> yeah, we're just asking again. It's a new day, you know. Okay, well, I thought all they have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> what a great voice! <laughs> <laughs> I forget what I'm referencing. That's a perfect cloud voice. <laughs> Let's talk about this more once we're back Do in the game. you have Prince Albert in a can? If you know, you better go like... No, no, I no. will not eat, uh -huh. I will uh -huh. not eat green, uh -huh. green eggs with him. I will not eat green eggs with him. <laughs> <laughs> Guildmaster, I have received a report from one of our apprentices. Apparently, most of the guild had nightmares last night. Oh, boy. This isn't the first time that this has happened either. Don't care. The first instance of this happened when we first returned from the expedition. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> but this time the nightmare was apparently much more vivid and severe. Would you like an apple? <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Guildmaster? Apple. I don't want that one. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> His eyes are doing like the melting, like a separate direction. <laughs> I've uh, the fucking from what God <laughs> told us. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> this is, we're fucking losing. It. We're losing our shit. You were saying, Duke. 
Oh, <laughs> whatever God of All said. Yeah. But please, I, 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 uh, wait. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Guild Messenger, for what God of War told us? I said all those lines. I know, I needed to, I needed this to see it This has to be the work of Dark Rock. I was not paying attention. <laughs> yes, I think that this is caused by Dark Rock as well. Uh, Wait, are you talking about the nightmare with mayhem in it? I uh, Oh! <laughs> no, what? Wait, he actually is surprised. Yeah, yeah, Four. You're probably talking about that one. Yes, it's definitely concerning. How do you know? <laughs> Epic! Never mind. So, we are in agreement that something has happened to Cresselia then. They killed her. God of War told us that Cresselia is Dark Rise foil when it comes to dreams. So, this has been an ongoing issue. Yes, something has probably happened to Cresselia. I know that we've talked about this previously, but. About Mayhem and Jinzu. Did you ask them what happened to Cresselia? They said I don't know anything. No, well. <laughs> I didn't. I did not. Well, that seems to be your fault. But why do? <laughs> Guild Master, there's no way that I would get an honest answer from them. And why? But why not? <laughs> why is that? Do you remember the answer? Because I've got a stick up my ass, I know, because they won't trust me. But you're not a grass type. <laughs> That's only because they were around Breloom. Did I ever tell you about that situation? You need to earn the trust, Jatot. We aren't giving up on those two. Remember, one of them could still be the chosen to save the world. Plot. The other day, Officer Magnuson told me that Armaldo was recently released from jail. You remember Armaldo, right? From the first game, right, right. <laughs> I think that Team Boofbutts could learn a lot from meeting him. I will see if Magnuson knows where Armaldo is living at. In the meantime, tomorrow morning, tell the guild that our new member one priority, new new number one priority is to look for Darkrai. <laughs> our new member is Darkrai. <laughs> <laughs> he is here. <laughs> I thought he, he showed up to me in the dream, and I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> and then like cuts away to <laughs> No it's the it's the What about that guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, you, know, you know the gorilla no, motherfucker you told me yeah. In fact he's right there <laughs> you, got, you really got Duke with that one <laughs> Why? You, I, I wondered the <laughs> understood guild understood guild master 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 uh... give that voice to Grovile <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I, 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 I was literally about to yeah I was like, impossible <laughs> <laughs> not with mayhem not the mayhem that I know I'm sure of it <laughs> <laughs> My hand is nowhere to be found, but they're near now more than ever. You, you know, like the shots in animes where like they release something over like the ocean. Yeah. But imagine him farting in his hand and releasing it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because you farted. <laughs> yeah, because it was like a, there was like a little, a little like injury between his between his dialogue. He just stops talking. <laughs> says, <"Could> you do <laughs> but no, just imagine him just. <laughs> And then just releases it. <laughs> Excuse this me. This is a fart episode. Uh, hello! Is anybody home? Oh my god, Team Charm! Is it okay if we stop oh, by for fuck, a minute? I forgot the voice I did for this bitch. It seems you've already invited yourself in. <laughs> Have a biscuit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the place is such a mess. <laughs> I just moved in. When I gave you my loca- when, when I gave you my location, I told you that you should only visit this place if you received more information about Darkrai. It's mayhem. Is that the case? Oh, is it ever? You won't believe what's been happening to to us these past few days. <coughs> Carnivore. <coughs> Immediately after Cresselia went missing, this army. all three of us began having nightmares. <coughs> Oh, look at the art. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Look at the art of his face. <laughs> He's like angry shocked. Huh? You three too? I knew it. <laughs> I knew that it couldn't have only been us. 
you had the dream with that Jim John, right? No. It looked like the same ones in that in Wiggly Top's Guild. You said that you knew him, didn't you? Uh. Da da da. This is not exactly what I said. <laughs> but yes, I recognize that Chimchar. Da. Bipolar King Candy. Mayhem is their name. That's me! Well, that connection is only part of why we came here. I came because I came! We, sp- we suspect that Dark Knight came from behind this particular set of nightmares. Actually, that's nearly a guarantee. Cresselia made it clear to us that Dark Knight is very purposeful and very cunning. Very coming. Do you have any insights related to what Mayhem said during that stream? <laughs> His stream. His stream. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. I don't watch Twitch highlights. <laughs> <laughs> but you should. Yeah. Disrupting time is not a joke. Especially mine. This is a very specific threat with enormous consequences should it occur. It would effectively put an end to life in the world. Very much akin to an endless nightmare. In fact, this is the very thing that I feared when I first heard you discussing Dark Rye. There is no telling when we could begin to feel the, the effects of a disruption in the next the flow of time. These disruptions time. emerge from certain <laughs> locales, but spread quickly, eventually engulfing more and more of the world. Respect that flow of time! <laughs> These disruptions emerge from certain locations! Locales! But spread... Uh, look! Fuck you! <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Or at least that's how I remember it. This is a very urgent issue that we need to resolve as soon as possible. But you can fucking fuck! I thought that you would say that! Thankfully, we came here with the plan in mind! Fuckering fucking time! You so bad! <laughs> that's the thing! That's what you're doing, Looney Tunes no, Kai! No, I'm not doing fucking Sylvester. 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 Wait, am I? Yes. Are you? Are you? Are I'm you? not doing his life <laughs> that he does. But you could. Suffering fuckatash! Okay. That's also Daffy. There's... Yeah. Daffy and Silver are pretty close. Yeah. Okay, there's clearly a lot of Looney Tunes characters that I could be watching off. So, what should we do? <laughs> I said, I said, a boy? I said, boy? <laughs> we have to find Ducker. <laughs> <laughs> boy, yeah. boy, you're pissing too loud. You're, you're pissing into the <laughs> into the water in the bowl, boy. You gotta hit the side and let it flow in, boy. What? How are we going to do that? I forget the Martian Manhunter voice. What is he? We, we have nothing to go off of. Uh, to go we, off of. Martian Manhunter voice. Uh, like Martian Man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Martian Manhunter. That's what you said. That is what I said. Martian Marvin. Marvin the Marvin, Marvin the, the Martian. Martian. Martian Marvin Hunter. How are we? Go- Jinx, get me a goddamn soda. <laughs> How are we go- No, that's empty. No, he's gonna eat it. He's like a goat. <laughs> Thank you. Duke is a goat underneath the helmet. Uh, what are you what? talking about? How are we gonna? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? We have nothing to go off of. <laughs> Fucking bit the kid. Uh, uh, I, I become so. I hate it. I don't know. I hate everything about you. Interesting episode I we got today. Think <laughs> that we need to have a. The rest of the guild help us. No. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell everyone about what happened to Cresselia. I'm so glad I'm not editing this episode. <laughs> You're right. I just wanted to believe that wasn't going to be a problem. <laughs> boof butts? Are you boof? Are you button? <laughs> but I think that the guild will be re- receptive to learning what happened. It should be at least. We're gonna do them a favor. I hope so too. My ass is chafing. Let's go to sleep. Let's break the news tomorrow. Hopefully, it won't be a big deal. Then we'll be work on finding Dark Rag. Yeah. I'm off to bed. Good night. I sit down and it just fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to put on my ass fire. Chapter eleven. Another side of the forest. I just Martin. checked when it came to how many chapters. I think I think uh, from what I saw, there was about sixteen total chapters. Then we're almost done. <laughs> now, yeah. I would like to bring an <laughs> issue to everybody's attention this morning. Multiple members of the guild have informed me that there has been a recent surge of nightmares. The guild master and I have discussed the issue. We believe this is being uh, it, <laughs> when we believe that this is being caused by Darkrai. Shut up. 
You are right. <laughs> Wait. Because of this, the guild will immediately shift its focus forward toward finding Darkrai and then stopping their plan. Since Darkrai has been operating for an extended period of time without any interference, it's safe to assume that something has happened to Cresselia. We also need to find out what exactly that was. Once we have our lead to work with, we will then adjust our plan accordingly. I bodied Cresselia. <laughs> However, this information must ah! be obtained from the dreams that much of a guild has. Oh! However, this information must not be obtained from the dreams that much of the guild has been experiencing. Remember that Darkrai can not only cause nightmares but manipulate them as well. Mm. You should ignore the content of those nightmares completely. Oh, thank God they're actually telling him this because then imagine like, there's no way he could actually manipulate dreams. <laughs> and one final point. If we learn about any Pokemon that have harmed Cresselia or are otherwise withholding information about her, they will suffer great consequences. Well, there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is your laughing matter. <laughs> <gonna> Fuck ah. <laughs> Fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> no laughing matter. The world may be at stake right now. That is all. I would love it. <laughs> Dogging the fuck out of chat out like you had one job. You fucking idiot. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> you can't see it anybody, but Duke is mad trying to mad dog Jinzu. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? And, and I'm so pssst. No, here, let me mad dog. Let me mad dog Jinzu real quick. You. Yeah, that's he's right there, right? Yeah, he's over there. Did I see that green thing over there? <laughs> that's Jinzu. That <laughs> I heard that voice. Where is it? <laughs> it's like he's all around me. <laughs> he's in the walls. He's in the goddamn hey, walls. Man. Yeah. He's talking about us. Yeah, I think so too. But what if there's a way we can still tell him that that what we know without us getting in trouble? Maybe uh, maybe we leave out the part about us fighting Cresselia, but mention that we saw Giratina take her away. No. <laughs> 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 no. Are you thinking you won't believe that? Clearly, Chad already succeeds in doing something to Cresselia. What happens when he asks, "Why didn't you tell the truth that Deep Chad if you didn't do anything?" Oh my God, you're a glub! Wait, he's literally glub. The lips are his forehead. Yeah. I'm just gonna do all his voice lines like that. Cool. <laughs> we should still look for information about Dark Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Green Man. I spit on you. I spit on you. But like, try and actually say the lines. I spit on you. 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 I spit on Let's see if Balloon wants to explore with us. Let's go get Balloon again. No! Politoed? And a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> no jerking. There's Balloon. Let's head over there. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, Balloon. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Duke, it's put Jinzo. on your glasses! No, I'm gonna try to read it. No! He's Jinzu! Holy shit, yeah. he's closing one eye and squinting the fuck out of the other. Put your fucking glasses on, you I, idiot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that was great! <laughs> oh, that's way better! Great to see you again! I don't like this guy anymore. It's good to see you too, Berloom. I couldn't even see his expression. I could barely tell that it was Berloom. That's why I told you to put on your fucking glasses! We're wondering if you wanted to join us for an exploration today. Oh, God! <laughs> In that duration... No, no, an exploration. What? Like, when you helped us on the expedition? In addition, he's deaf. What are you talking about? Did you mean, like, two berries? Plus two more berries? <laughs> Sorry, man, I don't swing that way. <laughs> I don't think he's fucking all there anymore, man. Didn't we come here right after the morning address? What time is it? Oh, this is a normal for Bloom. He's drunk huh? as hell. 
What do you mean? Ever since Balloon came back from your expedition, he's hardly left that spot. Since the expedition? That was a while ago by now. Hey. Are all of you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's Balloon! Oh. What? Balloon! <laughs> what? Balloon told me that he would share that he shared his whole Wiggly Tough Geared story with you. Wait, you know about that? Oh, I've known that for a long time! And that doesn't bother you? Fuck no! <laughs> of course not! Of course it doesn't bother M Markiplier. Balloon is one of the cafe's most loyal customers! Loyal? Loyal? It doesn't bother you it doesn't either. Bother you, please, and plight, <laughs> Raggy. <laughs> it doesn't bother you either, right? Right, Plaggy. You came here to talk to him, right, Pluggy? <laughs> so why is he been acting like this then? What does this have to do with him telling his story? This didn't happen. When we were on that expedition. <laughs> <laughs> May have had to do the most audible mouth wipe. I was <laughs> saying Plex Expedition. Well, to be honest, I think that Bloom usually tries to avoid thinking about how he left the guild. But after he came back to Treasure Town, it's been tough for him to avoid. For the past few days, he's been saying that he hasn't lived up to his potential. No, he's not. He's just Kaiju number eight. I guess I'm trying to do here is that I can help him feel better. Kafka, listen. Spin the. Uh, <laughs> can I get another? <laughs> no. Hold on for just one minute, Bloom. <laughs> Vodka? Give me one soda. What the? What <laughs> no, straight alcohol? Or just, yeah. uh, straight, straight gasoline? Yeah, no, yeah. It's just, let me mix this drink. Vodka? Vodka? You no, know, I love you guys. Don Julio? <laughs> I love you guys. Get out of my fucking face. Hydrogen peroxide? <laughs> what the? <laughs> it really was a mistake you sitting on the couch now. <laughs> Off the couch! <laughs> on the floor! <laughs> Man. Man. I guess we should just start looking for the leads on our own then. This motherfucker's too drunk. Ampros! That's the wrong way! Oh. Well, well, well. It seems I know the misstep. And uh, fuck. Uh, come on, Lamphros! We finally got a good lead, and now it's time that you won't dilly dally. They have a lead? <laughs> Ma'am, let's go talk to them. Uh, uh excuse me. Uh? You three are the cafe so so much. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could keep him. It was doing real well. We are about to begin another excellent day of exploration. Well, I heard I, over, I, I overheard you all talking about how you have a lead for something. Can you show what that thing is? Well, of course, that would be. <laughs> but the that's the assessment. Salem Dribble! Yes! The Salem Dribble! Yes! Look at that hair across the wall. <laughs> hey, I know that this place sounds unrelated to Dark Eye, but maybe we should still follow their lead. It's not like we have any better ideas. Any better ideas. Any location that we haven't been to could be a good starting point. Hi, Bawa! What are you talking about? Uh, nothing? Nothing? We'd like to join you on today's exploration. Are you okay with that? No. I did not do that. <laughs> it's fine, you got cut off, like, actually. Welcome to the summer, to the summer for the summer summer! I guess my word don't matter. It's the first bridge to discovery that I've been searching for! Ever since we came together to find the survey team! Long has he been losing us! I can't believe it. Until today! I truly hate my life. Well, we can't know that for sure. But supposedly it's at the end of Horn Valley. What if instead of Horde Valley, it was called Horny Valley? It was called Freak Valley. And <laughs> instead of exploring the dungeon, you explored each other's bodies. Also known as your dungeon. Give me your dungeon. Right, trying to secure the trick you got there with the the shaman would presumably live in. Okay, so the plan is to go to this spot, and then what? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Wee! Survey! Survey. 
Oh, I almost forgot something. Mama was correct when she said that we prefer to work alone. However, you are free to, free to follow the hunters. By the time that you arrived, you will likely spot our camp that we have set up at the end of Horde Run. The entrance is well near where you were going to my home. You got my seat. And just like that, the summer team is all ready for another exciting day of exploring. It's time to make some moves, everyone. We're out. You guys know how tall my joke is? Hold on. Like, like four, four foot, foot three. Ah! Like four foot three. And then. And, and then, four foot three. Wait, say it again. Say it again. And then, four foot and three. then my champ is five foot three. <laughs> Ooh. Amphros is quite the personality, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where I got that voice. Don't tell us Amphros. What'd you think of that voice? Did like, I do it? Did I do that voice all right? <laughs> Maybe. Over time, it's a new time of suffering. It looked like it would come out of Amphros' face. Yeah, that's a... I wanted to check something. We have more boxes. I want to sell the boxes. Because when you open the boxes, it gives us shit. Why does that... The weird thing is, is that that's the first time I've ever done that voice, and it doesn't hurt my throat when I do it. So it I, makes... I can I can still kind of hear it in like the back of your voice. Yes, yeah, because my brain is just like, I like it. Ah, shit. Who voices who again? Make space. You Let's voice this one. Open the boxes. No, I mean, I'm not opening those boxes. 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 I'm selling them. 200 bucks. Why not? There's stuff in them. Useless stuff. And it costs money. It costs 300 to open them for something that is worth like 80 bucks. And then, or you can just sell it for 200. Oh. Did you ever consider? No! <laughs> And then, wait, do I have other gravel rocks? I do not. Damn it. I was going to sell all those. Don't sell Actually, the... now that I have... Don't sell the graveler, sell the geo. Yeah. That's what I was thinking! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, so anyway, did you click that, uh, uh, what was it? The, uh, you know, the link to the voice acting thing I told, I sent to you? No, because you're at the pay for it! You do something about voice acting, you motherfucker! It's called the voice for it. It's called not doing that. <laughs> it's called your motherfucker. <laughs> what do you think, Jinzu? Do you think he'd be a good voice actor? If I was a young sure. boy, my father took think, me to the I city. Think he'd be a great voice actor, but I hate the voices voice he not, does. Not, not everyone has good agents and uh, names to to be known. <laughs> But what? But you, wait, you, my name is Mayhem. <laughs> would you be a good voice actor? Maybe. Would I? No. <laughs> you don't read your lines. <laughs> <laughs> no, you take off your glasses That's whenever the, you read line. That is the only. I do not. <laughs> That's the whole point of this channel is to show off our chances of speaking. That's why I don't like us <sighs> skipping any and all dialogue. <laughs> That's why I'll kick you in the nuts. <laughs> Where are you? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where's the rest of you? Where's the rest of you? Let's see why we could buy real fast. Shit. This is Sir, bad. Can you please stop staring at me? Where's the rest of you? Where's the rest of you? Where's the rest of you? Alright. But we're going to be going to the Horde Valley to find the Shaman Village next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll spoink. I mean, uh, catch we'll you next time. Uh, <laughs> we're going to spoink ourselves next time. Uh, spoink. <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna store all of our money. Why would a desk go be a banker? Because Why? it's thematically good for our channel, Jinzu! Oh, what? Uh, because, what? The, because, because the Meowth died. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye.